I'm going to say three words. And these words are going to provoke a lot of emotion for you college football fans, whether it's laughing, whether it's happy, or whether it's complete agony. All right, I'm just going to go. Texas is back. Do you remember this guy or this guy or him? You guys remember him? You This guy too? Oh my. How do you even do that? Texas fans, how did you have to deal with this year after year? I know the college football offseason is long and grueling, and that's why I'm here to keep you guys entertained all offseason, three videos a week. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and join the best family in college football. Also, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. I reply to all my comments on YouTube, but if you want to get a little more personal, if you want to ask me anything you want, go hit me on the DM. I love talking to subscribers. Smash that like button to get the YouTube algorithm going so this video reaches as many college football fans as possible. Texas fans, I don't want to dig up old dirt. I don't want to hurt you guys. But since you guys are in a place now where you have Steve Sarkeesian, you made the college football playoffs, things are looking bright. I hope we can look back on this era in college football and laugh about it and smile and remember what was. They say everything's bigger in Texas. And they do not lie. The expectations are always sky high with their sports teams. Think about the Dallas Cowboys. Every single year, they're supposed to be their year. They're supposed to make the Super Bowl. It never happens. And this was very reminiscent of what we saw with the Texas Longhorns from about 2012 to present day. For almost a decade, the Texas Longhorns were chasing a feeling that they got in 2008, 2009, when they were on top of the college football world with Mac Brown. And they were supposed to get back there again. But every year they had sky high expectations. They said the words, Texas is back. And they never did. And it broke fans' hearts every single time. And that era was unbelievable. All the media outlets were saying college football is better when a team like Texas is relevant. And I never understood that as a kid. Because come on, guys. I was a kid. I was young. I was maybe 7, 10 years old. And I'm like, what do they mean by this? But Texas has one of the most rabid fan bases in college football. They show out. They support. They get the network viewings up. They get my viewings up. I made one video about Arch Manning. That thing got almost 100,000 views. So now... Now I understand why they want these big market teams like Texas to succeed. After the Texas Longhorns lost in the 2009 National Championship game going 13-1 with Coach Mack Brown, it was never the same. In the next three years, the best season they had was eight wins and Mack Brown was out of the door. And then this is when this whole frenzy started. I'm not going to lie. I found this completely hilarious because it was the same cycle every single year preseason hype for texas maybe they get ranked top 15 top 10 oh this is going to be the year then they lose some games early on they lose that hype all right and then they start winning towards the end of the season then it comes back then they play in a big bowl game okay they're playing in a big bowl game they win the bowl game then they're on top again then they get that hype going into next season we're gonna be good and then the cycle repeats itself. Early game losses. We saw this from 2017 to about 2021. It was hilarious. Tom Herman. It was it was hilarious. The memory for me that was most indicative of this whole Texas charade was in 2016, the final year of coach Charlie Strong. He was supposed to be that guy that led him back to the promised land. He had the charisma. He had the tenacity. He had that fire. And it all happened when number 10 Notre Dame in week one came into Texas to face the Longhorns. Dane Bouchelle throwing rockets all over the field. Tyrone Swoop running the ball wherever he wanted to. Texas won a thriller 50 to 47 and it put the entire country on notice and I remember people saying this Texas team is for real. They even got up to 11th in the AP poll that season and they finished at 5 and 7. <laughs> They finished at 5-7. and seven. How do you even do that? Texas fans, how did you have to deal with this year after year? Oh my god. No, I still find it funny. I still find it funny to this day. How did they even deal with that? I'm going to throw up all the results from those seasons on the screen. And you guys can digest it how you want. But another one that stood out to me was 2018. This was the first full year with Sam Ellinger. They started off the season ranked number 23. However, they lost to Maryland on the road. That was a tough one. They ended up finishing 9-3. and three, But they still had a huge opportunity against number 5 Georgia in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome for the Sugar Bowl. And they did. They won it 28-21. to 21. Sparks were flying. And this is when Sam Ellinger gave his infamous quote. We're back! This one game caused Texas to be ranked 10th to start the 2019 season and to finish second according to the Big 12 preseason media poll. And this is the year where Texas finally broke through and won the national championship. <laughs> you wish, you wish this was the year. They went 8-5. and five. <laughs> 
They went eight and five. But the funniest part about this is that they also won their bowl game against Utah in the Alamo Bowl. That was a good Utah team. They were ranked number 11. And every single year of Tom Herman in those four years, they won their bowl game. So they hyped everyone up with the bowl game. And that's what caused this whole Texas is back thing. It was so hilarious to see. The Texas football reputation was so damaged from all these years that even in 2023, this season, after they beat Alabama on the road, I still wasn't sold. And I said that in a previous video, one of my first videos. I made. I'm like, I don't think Texas is back. I don't think they'll ever be back, but I'm glad you are. 2023 was very entertaining to watch. The Texas fan base is insane. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of talk. And going into 2024, it's going to be tougher in the SEC, but Sark has something wild right now. He is lightning in a bottle. He's getting all those transfers over, and I'm excited to see Texas possibly put up a show in the 12-team playoff. I do think Texas has a very good shot of making it and making it for the years to come. But tell me, what was your guys' favorite memory? or most distinct memory of this whole era of Texas football, the most painful era of Texas football, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. If you're new, make sure to subscribe so you never miss out on another great upload. Join the best family in college football. I've been Saturday Shenanigans, your home for unfiltered college football content, and I'll see you guys soon.